Here's a story that was on the Independent UK yesterday. World's most dangerous nuclear power plant is closed down. The Prime Minister of Japan stunned the power industry by asking for the closure of the country's most controversial atomic plant eight weeks after the huge earthquake and tsunami triggered the world's worst nuclear crisis since Chernobyl. Mr. Khan said the authorities in Japan have long accepted the high probability of a major jolt underneath the Hamaoka complex, about 200 kilometers southwest of Tokyo. This decision is made for the safety of the Japanese people when I consider the special conditions of the Hamaoka plant. Now, the, the special conditions he's talking about is that it sits in an area with a 87% chance of suffering a powerful quake. From the article, it says the seismologists have warned about this and have called it the world's most dangerous nuclear power facility. And the surrounding area is home to 28 million people. Now, even though they appear to be, um, governments really aren't that stupid. Franklin Roosevelt said that in government, nothing happens by accident. If it was done, you can bet it was planned that way. And so one has to ask why permission was granted to place a nuclear power plant in one of the highest probability land masses of suffering a major earthquake. And if every time you walked out of the house, there was a 87% chance of dying in a car crash, wouldn't you take a bus? Why are they playing these odds? Doesn't really make sense. You can finish reading the article on the link posted below.